Hi, I'm Ski with Pete. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cooler Master Master Keys S. This is the PBT keycap version, and we're going to be looking at the Cherry MX Green version today with the US keyboard layout. All right, let's take a look. This is my first look as well. Uh, one thing to note is the Cooler Master Master Keys. Uh, S versus Pro S versus Pro S RGB. Uh, Pro means that it has backlighting. Uh, Pro S RGB means it has RGB backlighting. Uh, but this is just the S version of it. Uh, but these one, this one does come with PBT keycaps, which is pretty cool. Uh, as I said, Cherry MX Green um, in the US keyboard layout. Just before we get inside, let's just take a quick look around the box. Uh, not much along the edges here. But... On the back, you can see something that I think is pretty interesting. Uh, just right here, you can see that there's a removable controller. So we might get inside and take a look at that. The other thing that I noticed on this, uh, Cherry MX switches, superior PBT keycaps, this one right here, on the fly macro support. This is the first time I know of that a Cooler Master keyboard has had on the fly macros. So that's definitely interesting. It also says uh, N key rollover, switchable layouts, uh, minimalistic, sturdy design. Excellent. Uh, TKL layout or 10 keyless layout. Uh, you'll see that here. Um, as you see it there, there's no uh, 10 key over here. This is just the smaller version. It's called TKL or 10 keyless. Cherry MX Green is a clicky switch. We'll get into that in just a second. First things first, let's look at the back of the box. What do we got here? Oh, we got the uh, keycaps. Oh, they used to, in the old days, they used to just send WASD. It looks like there's in some other letters in there too, a Q and E. It's pretty cool. This is a braided USB cable. I'm just gonna switch over to Action Cam for a second. Braided USB cable, you can see it's a micro on that end and a regular USB-A on that end. Gold connector tips, pretty cool. And it's also a braided cable. So there you have the TKL Master Keys S from Cooler Master. Uh, I'm just gonna give this a quick little smash here just to give it a typing test. All right, let's take a closer look here. I'm just gonna switch over to action cam. And I'm gonna lift up one of these keys. That is indeed a green switch. But the thing I've wanted to look at here is this N key. All right, and looking underneath, it is definitely a PBT keycap. You can see how thick it is, but the lettering itself, you can see that it's not a double shot. Double shot looks like, like this. This is a double shot keycap, albeit an ABS double shot. But on the inside, you can see the two types of plastics that were used. Whereas this one, you can't. So the first thing that says is, it must be pad printed. But it doesn't look like it's pad printed. I've just asked my man JB, he says laser etched. PBT keycaps definitely feel better. They definitely feel better than ABS keycaps. There's like a, a more solid feel to them. They feel better on your fingers too. I, it's difficult to put into words. You say it's laser etched, but I can feel it's like raised a little bit. So what are you saying? It's like lasered, then padded, then pad no, printed? No, no, It's just the laser causes it to go white, causes the plastic to go white. But I can feel it yeah, raised. Yeah, that's why you feel it, because of the laser. Right, okay. Okay, some more interesting stuff here. Let's just take a quick look. You can see on the top here, it says a print screen, scroll lock, pause. But look, F11 and F12 have macro plus and macro minus. It's not a plus, actually. That's macro record and macro minus. 
So that's going to be how you enable the macros. It's also got some other uh, key functions here. Those are on the function key, I assume. Those are your media keys. Okay, just taking a quick look at what's in the accessories bag here. Uh, there's some keycaps, uh, replacement keycaps, but weirdly, the replacement keycaps key caps that they've sent are actually, they're red, but they're ABS. They're not the same as, just to show you the, the same R key here. You can see the one on the right is PBT. The one on the left is ABS. Again, unusual, an unusual choice. You'd think if you were going to do PBT, you'd do all PBT. So I'm going to leave these here. I'm not going to uh, switch any of these keys over to the ABS cousins, even though the red is kind of cool. The red's cool, but not worth ABS. So a couple of reasons that I often recommend the Cooler Master over other brands of keyboards when people ask has to do with the layout of the keyboard. First of all, this is what's called ANSI layout, which means it's got the small enter and it's got the backslash above that key there. That's ANSI. You'll also notice that there's no special characters on either side of these shift keys. But one of the things that matters most when trying to find new keycaps is the standard bottom row. The standard bottom row is described as three 1.25 keycaps on the left, a 6.25 spacebar, and four 1.25s on the right-hand side. The way you can tell this just at a glance is that there's three on the left, four on the right, and they're all the same size. That's the thing that you tend to not to find when you buy other brands of keyboards from say Razer or Corsair. And it's the reason that I always suggest Cooler Master keyboards. That standard bottom row means it's much easier to find replacement keycaps for it. So we got the standard bottom row. We got a new macro programmable, onboard programmable thing going on. What's left to do but plug it in. I also noticed that there's three LEDs over here on the side. We'll figure out what those are in a minute. Okay, just flipping this board over. Uh, you can see that we have the three choices of cable routings that go out the edges like that. The USB cable goes in like this. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to do, actually. And then we're going to route it out straight for this time. Actually, no, let's route it out the side. Why the heck not, right? It's right here. But look, this cable really doesn't want to go that way. Anyways, if that helps clean your desk up, that's totally something you can do. Although, personally, I think it should route out the side and then up, but alas. Okay, but what I'm going to do is a quick macro. And the best way to do that is to open up a text pad. Function F11. There, we're in programming mode. Now I'm going to press tilde because I rarely use that key. Tilde. Now I'm ready to type something. So I'm going to type, this is my macro. Please work. Exclamation. Then I'm going to press function print screen. That means I've locked it. Now I'm going to press function escape to get out of the mode. And now I'm going to press... Go to the next line, and now I'm going to press tilde. What? Is somebody... I mean, is that... Is that written in the book somewhere? I don't know. I mean, now that I know how it works, I, I kind of get it. So that's been the review of the outside of the board. Uh, usual stuff. There's... There's flippy legs if you're into flippy legs. Uh, the board is on a slight incline. If you want to see that. You know, normal keyboard stuff. It looks good. Keycaps are nice. It's real pretty. I recommend that people buy this board. I know I will because it's the budget board from Cooler Master and it looks real cool. So you would think that this is where the review would end. We like it. We've given it a thumbs up. JB liked it. He gave it a thumbs up. 
it's a solid keyboard. It's a great value. It's probably the best value board for 80 bucks on the market. It's pretty good. But the review isn't going to end there. Instead, I'm going to unplug this puppy. And we're going to really get at this thing. Do you see this little sticker right here that says... You see the one right there that says do not remove? This is the reason that we were digging in there. This this piece right here. So let me... There we go. It's up. All right. And now we can take a look at the electronics that are in here. So you can see that's a Holtec chip. Right there. That Holtec chip is the thing that's going to be controlling this. But I suspect that the underneath part here, this is actually going to be very much the same as previous Cooler Masters. All right, I can't completely remove it here because as you'll see in a second, this is how the uh, USB is attached to the board right there. It goes up and under here. If you, uh, if you are like me and you want to know about the quality of something, you want to check out the quality of those solder joints. Excuse me. I mean, that is, that is beautifully put together. There are no burns, there are no shoddy solders that is flawless throughout. Impressive guys, very impressive indeed. I say that, I kind of expected from Cooler Master, so I'm not really that impressed, just because it's what I expect. So uh, all you have to do, just as I've done here, is just line up the little pins. You see, I've just lined them up right like that and make sure that they're all in perfect line and that none of them are jolted over. They're not, it's not one row too close to me or something. And I'm just gonna go through and push it in on this side as well. All right, uh, just as some little things that I just noticed uh, as I was going through this thing. You see the uh, the font on Shift, Control, Alt. It's definitely improved over the last disgrace that they had. Uh, but look at the Escape. Escape is a different size. It's totally a different size font than Tab and Caps Lock. Do you see that? It's like, it's huge. It's really, it's weird. Especially because Pause and Scroll Lock and everything else. So these are all like a consistent font size. And then escape is the same font size as the F. So it's, it's a weird design choice that they've made there or lack of design choice. Probably. You also notice that they've replaced the win keys with cooler master logos. It's pretty cool though. Definitely into that. Definitely. That is a co-star stab. So a uh, co-star stabs, um, some people say they prefer them. Uh, they do make removing keycaps a little more difficult, but uh, definitely nothing more to say about it than that. They are definitely a choice, and you do have to make a choice when designing a keyboard. No doubt about that. Well, that has been the Cooler Master Master Keys S. Thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press subscribe. If you'd like to support this channel, you can do so in the about section below. You can buy me a cup of coffee or you can support this channel on Patreon. If you catch one of the live streams, of course, you can use Super Chat, which a lot of guys do. Thank you very much to everybody who does support this channel. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Remember to check in the about section for links to this and everything else you can see on my desk today. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. Take care. We'll see you guys again soon.
So these are Cherry MX Greens. They sound pretty good. Cool.